The collective ambition to participate begins somewhere, and it begins in dreams. Paul McAllister had the dream. So did Pepe, Doug Coombs, and the Kemmerers. The mountain stands as the bedrock of that dream, where adventure plays out its days for the growing community who call this valley home. I think the community has played a major role in getting us to where we are today. We don't exist in isolation. Uh, we exist in a broader community of interest. In our local population, there is a, a lot of good energy and a great spark of life. It's everybody that you come in contact with, whether you know them or not, most likely they're going to be friendly to you and, and try to help you out. By design, Jackson Hole was born big, rugged, and wild. And because 97% of public lands are protected, it will remain that way. People who come to this valley will awe at the same breathtaking views, chase the same glory, and marvel at the untamed wilderness that makes Jackson Hole unique. The Tetons are incredibly powerful. They're kind of a beacon of light. That energy is in this area. You can't help but become a part of it. Only 3% can be developed. The rest of it is wilderness area, forest service, national park. So the area itself, I mean, that's what's special about it, is that it won't become this huge, you know, sprawl. It'll always be, you know, this wild place. The mountain will always stay true to skiing. You can't change the mountain. Yeah, we can develop a few of the other areas. We can add a chairlift in here or there, but you're never going to change the upper mountain. You're never going to change the whole back. It blows people away. We've tried to diversify that middle ground for the skier. You know, we've been opening new lifts and uh, new uh, trails, which is a lot of the fun part. You know, growing up in Jackson Hole, I have to give it all the credit it deserves for shaping what I've gone on to do as a career. The terrain here and everything that Jackson is has absolutely shaped my entire life. You know, the spirit of Jackson, I think, will continue to thrive. 